Craig, what's the latest? All right, Ashley, I want to make one point real clear here. When we talk about Ian, keep in mind Ian is no longer, but the leftover upper level energy kind of came into play with a trough along the coast and it's developing an offshore low that is strengthening and that's why we're getting the wind and these higher tides. So this is what we're looking at. Again, the coastal flood warnings up this afternoon. As we go along, there will be coastal flooding and we're going to see that with the tides. But here's the latest. Again, we continue in storm mode through the afternoon. The tide forecasts are continuing to lower from where we were yesterday. This is very good news. Yesterday, it looked like we were going to reach about 7.1 feet. Well, that was dropped this morning down to about 6.7. Now, then shortly thereafter, like mid morning, it was around 6.5. We're now thinking it's going to be more like 6.2, 6.3, something like that. That is really good news. So moderate tidal flooding is now what we expect for most places this afternoon with major tidal flooding still possible in a few spots and those spots would include places around the Lynn Haven and Little Creek where those bodies uh, open up to the north. You get the bodies of water opening up there. The Lynn Haven Inlet opens to the bay to the north of the Little Creek Inlet. Same thing uh, opening to the north. So in general for Sewell's Point, we're talking about moderate tidal flooding for the next couple of high tides, eventually minor tidal flooding tomorrow afternoon. Yorktown, same thing. We were looking at major, now moderate. You're still looking at water that's going to be up and flooding issues, but this is certainly good news relative to what the models were indicating yesterday and early this morning. We're very happy about this trend. You can see the water is high, but again, we don't see a lot of flooding issues with that sky view yet. As we go through the late afternoon, get closer to say four, five o'clock, six o'clock. That's when we should see our highest water really late afternoon. Now that area of low pressure spinning here, we do have the windy conditions at the coast, scattered showers coming down on the backside. You'll notice the winds from the north and that's why those north facing openings are going to have a little more water. We just had a gust of 41 miles per hour in Norfolk. A few other locations for you. You can see 39 there at Duck, 28 at Oceania. You're thinking, well, that's not too bad. Well, there are buoys in there are different wind sensors along the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, um, the offshore light. We've got some monitors on the bay that are showing stronger winds. So the winds are still very uh, stout out there for sure, and we're still looking at the tidal issues. Temperatures staying cool with highs today in the upper 50s. I'll be back with more on the tidal situation throughout the show. Ashley.